The Philippines' first rocket company aims for green launches. Orbital Exploration Technologies, the Philippines' first commercial spaceflight company, is working on developing its own launch vehicles with the aim of providing green, low-cost and sustainable launches. The startup, founded by Dexter P. Baño Jr., will create a space launch system that will be powered by renewable kerosene derived from waste plastics. It has named this proprietary fuel orbit XRP-2, after the refined kerosene RP-1 typically used in rockets. Orbit XRP-2 will be used to power Orbit X Haribin SLS-1, a suborbital two-stage rocket that could launch payloads of up 200 kg, which the startup will develop with a targeted launch date of 2023-24. The rocket is designed to achieve 844 kN of thrust, and will be 12.02 meters high. Orbital Exploration Technologies, using its Orbit X Haribin SLS-1, hopes to conduct six launches a year. Each launch is projected to cost US$4.959 million, which the company says will be 13% cheaper compared to Rocket Lab's Electron. The company has secured an initial funding of US$50,000 from angel investors. Filsa launches SICAP Plus, I's expansion of space research and cooperation in Asia. The Philippine space agency Filsa has launched the space infrastructure, know-how, and applications acceleration through promotion and training project, SICAP Plus, which seeks to enhance scientific cooperation in Asia. In a statement, Filsa stated that it specifically looks to boost the participation among the members of the Asian Microsatellite Consortium, AMC, the Joint Global Multi-Nation Birds Satellite Birds Project, and expand cooperation to new non-member nations in the region. Filsa said that this will be achieved through know-how transfer and sharing of best practices among operators of satellite ground receiving stations and amateur radio satellites earth observation and remote sensing practitioners, and new and emerging actors in the space community. In her welcome remarks, Filsa Deputy Director General Gay Jane P. Perez underscored the crucial role of exchange of ideas and know-how, and sharing of best practices in cultivating a scientific culture. In line with Filsa inclusive SSTA know-how, utilization, exchange, and localization activities or ISKUELA initiative, SICAP Plus envisions building a sustainable and capable Philippine space science and technology community by strengthening and expanding its space science research and cooperation in Asia. And through this scientific cooperation, it is with the highest hope that the purpose of SICAP Plus will be achieved, she has said. The Philippines is one of the most developed countries in Southeast Asia. The country has had a nuclear reactor for a long time and it is hoped that it will be revived soon. Nuclear and space research is also carried out in the Bangsamoro Autonomous Region with the establishment of the Ministry of Science and Technology. The Ministry of Science and Technology most considers itself as a succeeding agency of the Regional Office of the Philippine National Government's Department of Science and Technology DUST, which oversaw science and technology affairs in the autonomous region in Muslim Mindanao ARMM, Bangsamoro's predecessor regional government. When the ARMM was succeeded by the Bangsamoro Autonomous Region in Muslim Mindanao BARMM, in 2019, the regional departments of the former ARMM were reconfigured into ministries of Bangsamoro. When the most was established it absorbed the existing programs and projects of the dust for now defunct ARMM. Thank you for watching.